Hey hello everybody and welcome to a brand new mobile video. A few days ago I made one on Barrows and I thought, well the next step would be to try to get my first Zalra kill on mobile. So I'm just going to get right into it. So to start off here, start right from banking again. Now I'm getting a little bit more used to the mobile banking system. At first I thought it was extremely laggy and while I do think it does need some work, I think a lot of this comes down to when you're withdrawing items from your PC, um, you have to right click and click another button so when on the mobile you can spam click things very quickly and the game may not be programmed to take inputs in the banking interface that quickly. And I mentioned in the last video withdrawing gear from the bank really isn't that bad. Uh, it's more when you have to withdraw multiple stacks of items which I will need to do a little bit for Zora. So we're just going to drag everything out how I like it set up. Um, now I'm going to preface this entire video by saying I do not have a lot of Zora kills. So this is more how uh, easy it is for me to get my first kill, not so much based on times because my personal best is terrible anyway. I have not done Zora in a couple months now, so I've gotten much better gear, so I'm probably more likely to get my personal best now anyway. So we just need to withdraw as a lander, teleport, a few potions, and um, just some items for the battle. I do have to say the banking interface is still a little clunky, but I'm getting used to it, so it's getting a little better every day. So yeah, I have not tried this yet on mobile, so this is going to be my absolute first attempt and uh, well unless it's garbage in which case I might uh, switch to my second attempt but yeah hope it goes well and uh, let's see how easy this is. Okay so my first attempt actually was totally garbage uh, now if it was because of the client I may have included it however it's just because I'm out of practice. I haven't killed Zora in a couple months. Um, I'm really looking forward to doing it more. Now right off the bat it takes a little while to get used to uh, clicking with your thumbs as opposed to most obviously uh, you don't have as much precise clicking action. Uh, my thumbs aren't like particularly fat or anything uh, but it just takes up a lot of the screen. Being able to switch between the two panels on the left and right hand side is very user friendly. I like it a lot. Being able to switch gears very quick, I think it's actually easier than on a computer because your thumbs can actually move very quickly. And since it's on the opposite side, you can quickly switch gears, switch to the other side, and switch your prayers. Now it's not going to be as ideal as the F and keys for your PC because that's like instantaneous back and forth and you kind of just keep your hand there. However, it's kind of the best thing that's going to be available um, on mobile while well, I'm kind of wrecked. So you may have noticed in the first clip I actually did have a Ring of Suffering and since doing this that was actually recorded later I have upgraded quite a few things. Um, for one it's just useful to have however uh, just reducing the amount of actions you need to do on mobile is going to be very useful so like having rings of recoil uh, it just things will slow you down more so on mobile so I'm going to get a Ring of Suffering. Uh, I know it's cheaper to have just the anti-venoms as opposed to buying the Serpentine Helm However, I'm considering doing it just because it's just one less thing you have to think of. And the simpler you can make Zora, the better it's going to be on mobile, to be honest. However, first impressions are very good. I think after a few more practice rounds, I should be able to get my first kill easily and then possibly two in one go, hopefully. Now, I've just kind of gotten used to the zoom effects on Runelight and third-party clients, but uh, this is as far as you can zoom out on the mobile client. I do feel like the UI occasionally is getting in the way of where I want to click. It is nice that you can close it completely where on PC you can't actually get rid of the UI like the inventory icon etc. I think I just die here. Yep, okay. So uh, I died unfortunately, but not too terrible for my first attempt. I think I'll be able to get it next time. So once I get more used to this on mobile, I want to increase my gear switch to six items because the one thing that I find very easy about this is switching gears. One thing I didn't note earlier is the minimap, uh, as with anything on your thumbs, is a bit harder to click precisely. I've gotten very used to being able to click the exact tile with your mouse on the minimap, whereas with your thumb it's kind of just a guess. You're just kind of getting a general location because your thumb is so thick compared to a uh, pointer. <laughs> now what we really need designed here for noobs like me is a overlay app with the Zorro rotations. That would be pretty awesome. I may actually just download the development tools just to see if I can make one myself, uh, although I don't know if that's going to be super easy. So when I was first learning Zorro, I found that the uh, mage first uh, phase was the hardest for me. However, now I actually find it the easiest. Now I think that may have a bit to do with the fact that I've leveled my range level up so much and I tend to get a lot of damage off uh, in that time. And currently I'm just using the blowpipe as a spec weapon. Now it's a little awkward to do the spec because uh, it's you have to click all the way on the other side and then click the spec. It's not as fluid again as with the F keys. One thing I mentioned in my last video as well is that uh, Barrows was pretty safe. Now I kind of want to retract that a little bit because obviously almost anything in RuneScape is safe except for the wilderness. However, I'm talking about if you're out in the city or on a bus and you actually get like hit a dark spot for data and your character disconnects and you actually cannot connect for I don't know an hour or two. You may actually lose all your items. 
So Zora is actually a safe death, because if you die here, your items are kept safe for you, they don't even get dropped on the ground. So objectively, Zora is actually going to be safer than most other things, except for stuff like Vorkath and other things with a safe death, or grotesque guardians, but no one does that for money. So it's actually like a pretty big bonus point to Zalra is that it's a safe death, so that if you lose connectivity for an extended period of time, your items are going to be safe. Okay, so this is looking pretty close. Uh, hopefully if I don't take more, too much more damage, I'll be able to get this. So this is my third try with the mobile client clan Zalra, and I'm pretty newbie at Zalra, so that's uh, some good points towards the mobile client, because I think I should be able to get this kill. Okay, so we are into the Jad phase and we nailed it this time. So there we go. My first Zora kill on mobile. What do we get? Anything good? Uh, right, there's no overlays I can't see. Looks like a Zora and a teleport and no one has battle staffs. Sweet. Okay, good drop. Okay, so I've successfully gotten a few kills now. This will be like my fourth try and this will probably be my fourth kill, hopefully. So I'm going to touch on a few of my thoughts on what could be improved about the whole Zora killing experience and what's good about it. So I'm happy to say that Zora is actually much better than what I had initially assumed. Uh, the way the UI works is actually quite similar to how I feel I can do it on PC. Obviously PC is going to be a little bit better so it's not a uh, 10 out of 10 port to the mobile client. But I think it's pretty much as close as you're going to get and I think people may actually find themselves doing Zola runs because they're safe and it's good money. Switching gear is very easy. Switching prayers is pretty quick. Again not as good as the F keys but still there. Now as far as things that need improvement, now I do have some issues with the client, however a lot of these things I don't really see a solution for like being able to click on a mini map more precisely, uh, there's not really going to be a solution for that except getting a stylus, so actually there is a solution, so everyone should buy a stylus and a portable battery charger. Um, on a side note, this Zolra kill is going exceptionally well, I think I might actually get my personal best here possibly. Now as far as a couple negatives about this, and these aren't really the fault of the client or the content. However, to begin with here, doing Zora or a high intensity activity actually does hurt your hands. Now I do suffer from tendonitis and stuff similar to that, and doing Zora on your mobile phone is not super ergonomic. You have to move your hands around a lot and you're focusing quite a lot. Okay, that was a very quick kill. Let's just see what our time is here. Nice, 206. Yeah, I'm trash, don't worry about it. Um, since then I've gotten a better kill. So yeah, not very ergonomic, and I've done this on the bus, and it gives me motion sickness because I'm focusing so hard. And just generally, doing something like this that requires a lot of focus is going to leave you feeling a little bit weird if you're, like say, on a bus or outside or waiting for something. It takes a lot of your focus and it's going to kind of zone you out from your day. I know this seems like a silly thing to mention, but I'm going to say it anyway. I'm not going to dock any points from it for that, but I think it's worth mentioning because honestly I can't find too much to criticize uh, about the way Zola works on mobile. Now I mentioned that banking isn't ideal, and that is true, however, the most amount of items you're going to need to withdraw is for your very first run, assuming you're going to do like a couple hours worth or even 10 or 15 runs or something like that. You're only going to need to withdraw those items once, even if it is a bit of a pain. After that, you should only have to restock on one or two items or sometimes three or four, in which case it's not too bad. I would probably recommend setting up a specific page for doing any of these bosses because having to use the search function or actually even the scroll function is kind of garbage and they need to fix that kind of. <laughs> so setting up a specific page for Zora with all your items and all the teleports, all the potions, all in one visible page without you needing to scroll is going to be extremely helpful. And as I mentioned earlier, when removing any extra tasks you need to do or items you need to click on during the fight is going to help out tremendously. So making sure you have a ring of suffering and if you want a certain time helm, although it's not required by any means. Now just as a side tangent here, I'm just going to be talking about a few things I want to improve about my Zora setup. Now these are things I have done, or I'm going to be doing very soon. One is, for one, I got a Ring of Suffering, imbued it. And next up I'm going to be buying Augury, and I also need to get 77 Prayer, so that will be very handy to have. After that, I have to imagine maybe getting an imbued Heart would be ideal, or maybe the Ancestral Hat, and then eventually the Ancestral Set. Buying Rigor is going to be very expensive, it's still like 80 or 90 mil, so I'm probably not going to get that right away, although I think that would increase my kill times tremendously as well. So it actually looks like I'm going to get two kills in a trip, which is a pretty good standard for me. Obviously people can do a lot better, I'm not good as all right, I'm just going to reiterate that, but for me getting two kills in a trip is decent. So after all is said and done, a lot of the negatives I spoke about is not really to do so much with the client. There are a couple things and it's not perfect, but I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Mainly because it's a safe death, and I think considering that a lot of people won't want to do risky PVM, 
and it's going to be up there for things people are going to want to do. I'm also giving it a 9 is because the things that I talked about like not being able to click on the minimap or the UI being in the way are very minor things and uh, don't really impact it that much. And finally, it only took me really two full tries to get my first kill on Zora on the mobile device. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Yeah, if you did, don't forget to leave a like or leave a comment on what piece of content on mobile you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.